Creating a future of hope is a tall order. Responding to new market conditions and community needs calls for partnerships with a wide variety of groups. In the midst of these changes, sponsors need to preserve the values and principles of Catholic identity. We have hundreds of thousands of non-Catholic patients, tens of thousands of non-Catholic employees, tens of thousands of non-Catholic suppliers, and they're all part of our community. We have to be constantly careful about how we communicate who we are, what we represent, and what it should mean for all those individuals. It's very challenging. Sponsorship, Sponsorship is, is calling, calling us today, today to, to do, do it, it in collaboration and partnerships and relationships, and relationships with others who can, can help us further the mission. mission. Spectacular advances in medicine and technology in the 21st century offer unprecedented opportunities to promote health at every stage of life from conception to natural death. In addition to these opportunities, there are challenges from skyrocketing costs, competition, and a new paradigm that looks beyond the walls of hospitals to care for entire communities across the continuum of care. No one organization can accomplish all this on its own. Partnerships are here to stay. This is not the same old, same old healthcare, and when people uh, enter into sponsorship, uh, they, they have to be interested in a wide variety of business relationships, faith relationships, civic relationships and changing definitions of health, mental health included, uh, and changing relationships with uh, civic communities. As we've gone through all this modernization of healthcare, and as we continue to deal with those, the founding principles have not been altered at all. But there is a recognition though that how we execute and how we carry that ministry out uh, does have to address the time in history of which we are doing that. So partnerships, uh, relationships with others, uh, all now are a part of our overall work, but that work remains rooted uh, in those founding principles. I like that analogy of, of landscape, and I think that it's not just that the landscape is shifting, that we have a very important part in creating the landscape of healthcare. Forming partnerships is easier said than done. There are many questions to ask and implications to consider in discerning which path to take we're struggling with forming new partnerships with other than Catholic uh, organizations, with our public agencies, with insurance companies, partnerships to share risk uh, for populations, the accountable care organizations, for-profit entities. It forces us to go back and say, wait a minute, what are the elements of Catholic identity? in terms of human dignity and the whole person and common good and stewardship. What is the most effective way to meet the needs of the people that you're serving? That's the way you need to approach it as a, as a sponsor. Most people go to the ethical and religious directives as sort of the bumpers for the, the reality of Catholicism. I think that just way underestimates what the questions are. The, the bigger questions are, are the value-based faith-based um, behaviors and, and mechanisms built within us. People are much more comfortable with them than you might think. Some are choosing us as partners to help them embed similar values. So I think in many ways it's a, it, it can be a win-win. There are different challenges depending on the shape of the partnership. Uh, uh, obviously, you could have partnership with another nonprofit that might not be from the Catholic tradition. And so there, the question is, how do you be sure you don't lose the grasp of your tradition when you're into a partnership where not everybody starts in the same place? We know that we now have these things called accountable care, 
uh, organizations. We know that we have bundled payments. We know that we now will have this responsibility and our reimbursement will be aligned with managing populations. And we know that we don't have all of those services ourselves. So how do we go about uh, solving uh, that issue? The transformation in healthcare has given birth to new partnership arrangements with uncertainties and risks. Sponsors need to navigate through uncharted waters while keeping a steady eye on mission and Catholic identity. The landscape is changing very quickly and problems that may arise today may take care of themselves and we'll have new ones a couple of months from now. So um, people are going to have to step quickly, they're going to have to deal with ambiguity, um, those aren't bad things, but those are not part of a spiritual armament that you get in grade school or high school. Those are adult qualities and adult virtues, and um, sometimes the ability to make a, a quick, accurate judgment is necessary, but it's also, in the name of prudence, going to be necessary to withhold quick judgments sometimes until enough voices are heard or until a landscape is surveyed sufficiently so that we know the dimensions of, of what we're looking at. Relative to partnerships, I think sponsors need to be very closely aligned with their management. I think they need to be very careful that management doesn't get out in front of them. Uh, initiating something which may come to naught and yet will have had attention and therefore coming to naught will be noticed and wondered why and you'll get questions about it. I think you need to be very careful that sponsors and governance, if they are separate entities or one, uh, need to be on top of what's happening within the organization, what issues are they pursuing, are they pursuing partnerships, what are those partnerships, and uh, what is involved in them, where do we think the pitfalls may be, where do we think difficulties may arise, uh, when do we talk to the bishop, when do we discover what he thinks about the possibilities. There is a, a, a tremendous transformation that's going on around us in, in healthcare that we're all a part of. Some of it's being thrust upon us and some of it, um, for good reasons, we're uh, undertaking on our own. Um, but we can see that the direction is, is that as important as acute care is and always will be, it is not the only piece. It is not the center of the universe. The center of the universe is the person. It's the patient. And, uh, and, uh, and around the patient are a whole host of services, including the acute care piece. There's home care, there's hospice care, there's pharmacy services, there's daycare, there's, uh, you know, we can go on and on and on of all the services for young, middle-aged, and old. And that means new tools, uh, maybe doing things in a way that we've never done before. I mean, you can't keep looking back, you need to look forward. And sometimes yeah, that means grieving too. We have to let go of some institutions or things that we did that worked so well um, for, for decades, if not for, for a century, um, and looking to new ways. And it's because the needs of the people we're, we're serving have changed, the common good um, requires that we change. Partnerships can help the ministry serve growing community needs by leveraging strengths and stewarding resources. Partnerships can also foster the vitality of the ministry in advocating for a just health system that works for everyone. And we will be rightly judged on whether we take care of the poor or not. We provide health care so that people can participate in the society. A system that recognizes that health care uh, is a right. A system uh, that recognizes that uh, there are uh, disparities uh, among groups and a system that is compelled and focused on making sure that whether you're in the inner cities of Los Angeles or where you're on the east side of Brooklyn, that there is a standard of care that all can access and expect. And that uh, faith-based organizations and characteristics that are important to them can justly be a part 
of this system. And finally, a system that recognizes the importance of the whole and that all individuals, all of their needs uh, are of consideration. I like to say I think it's very difficult to be healthy if you do not have a home. I think it is difficult to be healthy if you do not have equal access. The contribution that uh, of the Catholic social teachings that have been with us and um, are needed even more today. The dignity of the human person, the preciousness of life at the beginning, life at the end, and the quality of life all the way through the stages, that we commit ourselves to the preservation of that, and that we commit ourselves to the common good. A faith perspective uh, is one in which we look systemically, we look structurally, not just personally, but that the person also is always at the center of our attention. It's our actions that communicate louder than our words on how uh, Jesus lives in this modern world, how compassion is carried out, how touch and technology partner to bring healing about. And that attitude of service is what we're trying to instill in everyone that works with us. We are not about proselytizing, we're about service. Carrying on Jesus' healing mission in the world today is not easy, yet sponsors receive many blessings in responding to their call to serve. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to serve. It's a wonderful opportunity to grow both professionally and in a spiritual sense. And I think those are wonderful gifts. That's a continuing lesson in the work of sponsorship and ministry to help people see things, hopefully something about the grace of God and the work of Christ that they never noticed before or, or that, they, that they were amazed by but they never connected it with, with God, goodness, holiness or, or the life of a community. It's a wonderful opportunity. If you by nature enjoy being part of faith-based environments and if you happen to even be Catholic, that's, that's nice too. But more importantly, it's a wonderful forum to really do the things you value and to impact the things you value. It's the next 10 years are gonna make the last 10 look pretty boring because everything is in motion. It's the first time I've ever, and I work in all the different industries over the last 30 years, I've never seen an industry so open to change, so perplexed by what's ahead, so to some degree challenged and frightened by not knowing but that's a wonderful forum. So for those who are considering this or may have just taken the job and are watching this, I have to say, I wouldn't have missed a day of the whole process. Uh, I'm gonna stick around and keep going, so I hope others join the journey. It's, uh, there is no place quite like the Catholic Healthcare Forum right now to, to live your values.